Hi everybody. It's been a couple of weeks since I've been able to ride and uh, you probably see a lot of the leaves are gone now. The ones that we do have left are turning brown. All the really brilliant colors seem to be gone. Uh, I've been out of town for a couple of weeks. I've been down in Atlanta and uh, finding my way around there getting used to things. I couldn't couldn't take the bike with me this time. Uh, we just had too much stuff to to haul back and forth and uh, so it's the first chance I've had to ride in a couple of weeks too. It's still pretty cold here. This uh, polar vo vortex thing hadn't really cleared its way out yet. And we're in the probably, well let's see, I don't know what the thermometer says there, but it's uh, probably into the mid 40s now. Maybe get easing up to the upper 50s. But you can see how these trees have just lost all their leaves. They were so pretty last time I rode through here. And, uh, but, you know, hey, it happens. We had uh, some severe weather come through. We had uh, uh, a lot of rain, a lot of wind came through here and uh, just took them all out. But, you know, it's that time of year. Uh, don't know what I really want to talk about today. Like I said, I've been down in Atlanta. I've been checking out the places. Uh, if you saw my, my vlog on the Veterans Day, that was a, a little museum there not too far from the house. Um, I've also got one uh, I'm going to post pretty soon here on uh, the Chattahoochee River. Uh, when I found one of the parks there and walked around a little bit, got some pictures of that. It's a big, a big fly fisherman area apparently right through there. The, the river is very, very, uh, very wide and very uh, shallow. And uh, well, you'll see it when I get it posted. But uh, just thought we'd come out and see how things have changed. Yeah, yeah it's going to be the winter pattern. This is probably what you're going to see on my videos for the rest of the year until we get into the spring. It's going to be kind of bleaker, and uh, the trees will be losing, losing all the rest of their leaves. And crops are in pretty much. I, I noticed on my road uh, they still haven't got everything in, but. Uh, I'm sure they will before too much longer. It must be a grain or something that doesn't doesn't have to be on a particular town. But uh, yeah, there's families out enjoying the day. Like I said, the weather's been really miserable. It's been rainy, really cold. This time of year for us, we're maybe 10 or 15 degrees colder than average than we're supposed to be. Today it should have got up into the high 50s maybe low 60s for the average but um, that's not going to get anywhere close to it. In fact our high today is probably going to be what our normal low for this time of year should be. But, okay well now that I've broken the law on the on uh, what you never motor vlog about, uh, I forget what number it is but uh, I'm sure somebody will fill me in. I was told the rules are really just guidelines anyway so you know that's what I got to talk about that's what I got to talk about. But, uh, just going to take the big loop today. Um, I uh, just wanted to get out while I could. This is the warmest part of the day right now. Going on just about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, lots of lots of roadkill out here. They've been going good with that. Looks like lots of rabbits out here. And we do have plenty of rabbits. Rabbits and deer and squirrel and foxes and possums and anything you can think of, they'll be out here. I've seen coyotes, uh, turkeys, gosh, wild turkeys by the bunch. Of course, we have all these domesticated turkeys that are grown out here, but uh, see lots and lots of wild turkeys out here too. They've kind of reintroduced into the area and they've really, really taken hold. Deer population just exploded this year, as it has for for the last few years. We really just have way too many deer, and uh, it shows up in automobile accidents. That's where you really notice it. And of course, if you try to grow a garden, I tried my hand at growing a garden a couple of times when I moved out here, and I just got tired of feeding the deer. I mean, I get everything out there, get things going good, come out there, and it all be down, it all be gone. <laughs> it was just eating. And there'd be little deer tracks everywhere. Every now and then we'd get 
a raccoon or something else would come in and from the tracks on the on the new plowed dirt I could see where they'd been in and been messing with stuff eating it and digging up stuff but that's okay that's what they got the store for I believe if I was with you I'd rather get it at the store anyway but um, uh, trying to remember something that I was reading on one of the topics earlier and I have noticed that uh, some of you guys in Arizona and Southern California um, are still enjoying some beautiful weather. I, I think you must have missed this big cold blast that, that came down out of Canada. Really kind of zapped us. Went all the way down to Florida. They had temperatures in the in the 20s down in Florida, which is not good for the orange crop. But I don't I don't think there's any problem right now, and the the trees are all dormant. But uh, it's not a good sign showing it's going to get cold this early. But about time we had some. You know, we don't usually get a lot of cold weather in, the, in North Carolina, and you know maybe we'll have a good cold winter this year. Maybe kill off some of the bugs. We'll see. We'll see uh, what it looks like when we get to the spring. I guess you know, see if they're all splattered all over my windshield here when I get out and ride. But uh, so far so good right now. Looks like uh, if there were if there are any bugs out there, few and far between this morning. I'm just taking a ride we've been on before. I just wanted to kind of be able to look back and compare it from the two videos and compare them and see how much things really have changed in, in the two weeks right here going into winter this cold weather but this little area here doesn't change much it's from really built up areas I never quite understood this now we are out in the middle of nowhere I mean there's nothing near us um, the closest town to us right now in this county would be Monroe and it's got to be I don't know 15 miles down the road here to our right I, you know and they build these houses out here and they're beautiful houses and they're big old houses and they spend a lot of money on them and they put them side by side and I just don't understand that I've never understood that I mean I'm lucky I'm my closest neighbor uh, if I walked it off I guess he's got to be at least 100 yards away from me maybe more you know and we don't it's not like we share yards we share woods so you know I don't even see them so most of the time you, know, you can't see them from my house you can't see my house from his house and that's why I built there I wanted to be able to get out and away I was raised in the city and you know had a great neighborhood but you know it was all one yard backed up to the next yard and a guy beside you and a guy beside you and everybody had a little low fence up and all that stuff just kind of cut it all up into little little neighborhood squares you know but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not you know if you like that kind of thing that's great you know and, and I I might see later on in life here when when it's a little harder to get things done around the house I might not want to move into a situation where I've got some neighbors just right out the window there you know right out the back door but uh, not for now I want to still enjoy it out here I want to come be able to come out here and ride just step out my back door and I'm in the woods and uh, enjoy the peace and quiet. There is not a major road or highway, so to speak, anywhere within earshot of me. Um, yeah, really, for quite a quite a ways away. So I don't have the constant, you know, back drum of traffic or anything like that. What you hear out near me is more likely to be um, farm machinery, lawnmowers. Um, occasionally, just occasionally, if the wind's blowing right, you'll hear the some of the turkeys in one of the turkey barns when they're when they're all cackling together that's kind of cool <laughs> you never heard it before that sounds kind of neat voice their voices kind of all blend together but um, it's uh it's just a real nice place to be out here and uh, of course anybody who's lived out in the countryside they know what i'm talking about it was a long long drive all these years um on a normal day when i was working I was on the road for anywhere from uh, two hours to two and a half hours, maybe more, total every single day, and that was for six days. And uh, six days a week, so uh, got a big part of my life back, but it was well worth it. 
to, uh, to 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 build out here and to live out here for just for just for this, just for the scenery and for the quiet. Usually, nobody's people right on on top of each other. Nobody's, you know, people aren't in a hurry. You know, never have been in a hurry out here. You know, and we get stuff done, but you're there's not always that. That, that buzz of, you know, oh, I gotta get it, gotta, gotta, gotta get away, traffic, traffic, you know, like all that stuff, you know, where you just get hyped up in the city, or at least I do. So, I've been enjoying it here. Uh, where I am in Atlanta is a little community called Smyrna, and it is right uh, on the outside of the main beltway around Atlanta, and that's uh, I-285. And it's got, you know, I'm in a neighborhood, I've got the neighbors all around me and all that. But uh, it's, it's not bad, you know, it's not a bad place, and I'm just trying to get used to being there. Fortunately, I have this refuge, you know, to come back to. And, uh, and I certainly plan on doing that quite a bit. Uh, Going to be in Atlanta for a little while off and on. Been having a good time down there, getting to know where everything is. I've got a sure do have an awful lot of stuff to go see, and I haven't had a chance to go see even a, even a small portion of it. Um, it's just been really nice. But uh, to, to, you know, just taking it easy, you know, just getting stuff done. I had a lot of little stuff to do around the house. Already got quite a few of my honeydews uh, done, and uh, I'll uh, keep working on those as I'm down there, staying busy. Take my had to take my car into the shop. Uh, they, uh, my wife noticed a couple little droplets of oil on the, on the driveway when I backed it up once, and uh, it has never leaked oil. It's a 07 model Kia Sorento with the V6 engine, and it's got 150,000 miles on it, and I'm literally never had a problem with it, and uh, till now, and. Uh, Got to looking and uh, looked like I couldn't really see it because it's on the very back of the engine, but I could see where the oil was flowing down over the transmission and kind of spreading out underneath the car a little bit. But uh, looked like the uh, oil pressure sender was leaking, and that's what it turned out to be. And it wasn't a big deal. I did spend about four hours at the shop getting it fixed the other day because I uh, when I had to take it in without an appointment because I was coming up here the next day and. Uh, so, but we got it done. Uh, they did a good job. Uh, they even gave me a 10% discount. I don't know why. Maybe just because I'm, I look old and deserve one. <laughs> but I don't know. They were, they were. I was there a long time. Maybe they felt sorry for me. Maybe they gave me, a, gave me a good discount. Gave me a good service. And I'll take it back to them the next time I have something else done. But uh, you know, it's always it, ha having been in that type of business. It's always really nice when you when you get good service, you know, when you go somewhere and they treat you like you would treat them, you know, if, it, if they were coming to your place. I know that's not always the case. And, uh, but, uh, you know, for me, fortunately, that's the way it worked out this time. And I'm real happy that it did. But, okie doke. Well, I'll, uh, I'll close off this segment. And, uh, hope you guys are having a great great weekend I know I am and getting to get back on the bike and hopefully if the weather's not too bad where you are you can get a chance to get back up on the bike too um, so you guys take care and I'll talk to you later bye